Welcome back to Sister Circle Live with a voice birthed from the underbelly of soul music. This singer, songwriter, and musician has made an indelible mark on music lovers all over the world with hits like Chain Smoking Your Love and Diddy Bop. I'm a huge fan of his work. And after you hear him, I'm certain you'll be one as well. Please welcome down to the circle, Mr. Jacob Banks. I believe what I say Why does everyone get me wrong? If I told you different, would it sound the same? Mm -hmm. Would it make a difference in any way? Done wrong, I pay for it. It's your turn to talk for once I'm listening. Say that you don't want me, say that you don't need me. Tell me I'm the fool. Tell me you've been tortured, tell me you've been betrayed. What I've done to you, even if it doesn't matter. Better was true now. Tell me that I'm my no to you. Tell me that I'm my no to you. That was absolutely amazing. I'll be chatting with Jacob Banks after the break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, child. Yeah. We're back as promised, and I'm sitting with one of my absolute favorite voices, Mr. Jacob Banks. If anybody ever told me, you know, or asked me in any interviews, oh, Selena, what are you listening to now? The answer would be Jacob Banks. Thank you so much. My God, um, your voice is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. And it's reminiscent for me of the artist Sade. Um, not in, in tone or texture, but in uniqueness. The fact that you are in a lane of your own. Um, so, Jacob, first of all, you were born and raised in Nigeria. Yeah. And at the age of 13, you moved to England. Your family moved to England. Yeah. Do you think that the, the bicultural um, kind of upbringing yeah. has played to your sound, this original sound that you have, this richness? Yeah, I, I would say so. I think when you write or do whatever you do in life, you choose from whatever experiences you have. Mm -hmm. I think having two polarizing experiences mm -hmm. informs my decision when I'm making music. I can choose from so many sounds ah. and it still be true to me. Because mm. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be anything. I'm British as well as African. Mm -hmm. So I get so much more to choose from than the average person. So it helps me be freer in being a musician. Wow. Um, speaking of your musicianship, um, you are only 28 years old. Yeah. My God today. <laughs> and, and yet and still, at 28, you have the sound of our ancestors, <laughs> literally in the, t in the, the texture of your voice. Um, your voice houses pain, it houses progress at the same time. Um, do you think that, um, despite how young you are, um, that the challenges that you've experienced in your life play a role to the soul that we hear? Or is it just a natural thing that God has given you? I mean, ob obviously he's given you a natural gift, but do you think there's more? It comes from some of your experiences. Um, I would go with more natural. Reason being, it's, I think, I don't know, man, everyone's struggling, man. I don't feel like any of my struggles are more unique than anybody else's. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go with natural. For natural. the reason I just don't feel like I'm going through anything that's worse than what my mum went through, for example. So um, I just feel like maybe it's just natural. Well, maybe. I mean, you did go through it with your mom, right? Yeah, but I, also lots of practice. Practice, practice. Is, a, a, is a massive part of learning how to understand what you have mm -hmm. and learning how to maximize what you have. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think, um, uh, well, not do you think, Along your journey, mm. because your voice is so unique, yeah. have you ever come up against any type of like 
um, trouble where like radio or the industry doesn't understand it or like, oh, he sounds too old, but he's too young, or oh, he's too young and he sounds too old, you know what I'm saying? Or have you just been received and you, you've not had to deal with any of that? Um, it's just been a personal struggle for a while, mm -hmm. trying to find a home in respect to radio or whatever. But I started making music when I was 21. So mm. after a while, I just stopped trying to run a race. I tried to find things that define me outside of Jacob Banks, a musician. So mm -hmm. I, I score movies on the side, or I do, right. I do other things that 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 allow me to be creative without depending on success on radio, for example. Mm -hmm. And plus, like you know, we I've been on the road for three years straight, selling out shows all over the world. Yes. So to 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 consider myself underrated will feel like a injustice to the people who support me if that makes sense yes so like i'm you know we're here we're alive and well you're doing you know? your thing yeah yeah and you're doing yeah, it yeah, well yeah. <laughs> i feel you so okay so then let me ask you this because you tour everywhere yeah. your streaming is bananas um yeah. anybody who does not know you is under a rock in my mm. opinion um but do you feel that there is a difference with the way that you are received in the States as opposed to how you are received in other countries? Um, honestly, it feels the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think because I am living a privileged life, which is interesting to say as a black man. Because mm. I'm, in, I'm, I'm going into rooms that I've been invited into. Yeah. I've been celebrated in these rooms. So mm -hmm. I play shows to people who don't speak English, people who do speak English, mm -hmm. people who speak whatever, and it's just love. My music transcends because we feel familiar to each other and, you know, it's it's all the same wherever we go. And you have been on so many, you've, your music has been on so many soundtracks and movies and video games and television series. Yeah. Is that intentional? I mean, that's where I first found your voice was in a movie soundtrack. Yeah. Um, is that intentional? I know you talk about you do it on the side, but was mm. that something that you and your team said, you know what, let's try to, let's try to go this route as well? No, um, I think you just go where the love is. I mm -hmm. think it was like, while I say I wasn't really accepted by radio, I don't, it's, I don't feel radio is, is the devil or anything. I just don't feel like my being suits what, what's considered proper radio. So I, I think it's just a compatibility issue. Yeah. Um, but like there was always love on TV and I, I grew up playing video games. I grew up watching movies. So mm -hmm. it just made sense for me to be in that world. It just felt natural. I write from a very cinematic point of view as mm -hmm. well. So it just felt like like it was meant to happen. Well, Jacob, um, we're glad that this was meant to happen. I'm so glad that you came down to the Sister Circle and you can experience you. Jacob's album, The Village, on all streaming platforms. And to see if he'll be in your city coming soon, visit him at mrjacobbanks.com. And the conversation always continues at sistercircletv.com.